Plotting voltages or currents in a simulation is important, but so is varying a parameter in a device or model to compare performance and develop your circuit intuition. There are two ways to examine a circuit by changing the value of a parameter. You can either manually enter each value and then re-simulate the circuit, or you can use the dot step command to sweep across a range of values in a single simulation run. Welcome to LT Spice 4 Stepping Parameters video. I'm your host, Gabino Alonso. This video covers the basics of how to use the dot step command to perform repeated analysis of a circuit in LT Spice 4. I will demonstrate how to create a user defined variable, use a dot step command to define increments for the variable, and review results in the waveform viewer. Once you have a work in simulation, parameters in a component model can easily be stepped. The first step is to insert a user-defined variable for the parameter that you want to step and bracket it with curly braces. Let's look at varying the capacitance in a simple RC filter so that we can compare results. To edit the capacitor's attributes, we need to do a control right click over the capacitor element. That allows us now to edit the component attributes for that capacitor. And we're now going to go to replace the value 0.2 micro with a user defined variable, which in this case I've selected x, and we need to bracket it with the curly braces. The addition of the curly braces around the variable is important as it tells the LT Spice 4 that the x is a parameter. Once you've done editing, you can then click OK to save. The next step is to insert a dot step command via a spice directive that specifies the steps for the parameter x either by linear, logarithmic, or list of values. To insert a dot step command to our schematic, we will need to do so via a spice directive. In the text box, we can then type in dot step, followed by param x. Param x basically tells LT Spice 4 that x is a user defined variable. Next, we need to, to complete the statement by specifying the steps for a parameter that we want. In this case, let's assume we want to go uh, from 0.1 microfarad to 0.3 microfarads, and we want to do so in 0.1 microfarad steps. So in essence, LT Spice will do a single simulation run, and the capacitance will vary from 0.1 to 0.2 to 0.3 microfarads. Once you're happy with your dot step statement, you can then click OK and place it into your schematic. The last step is to select Run from the toolbar to run your simulation. LT Spice will run a single simulation that will sweep across the range of values you have specified in the dot step command. To display your results, you can click on the node for the voltage or component for the current, and LT Spice will display each result for each step side by side so you can do an easy comparison. To review details of each trace, you can left click on the trace label to attach a cursor in the waveform viewer. Then you can use your up and down arrow keys to step through each one to take measurements. If you're not sure what step value you're looking at, you can position your crosshairs over the cursor and the cursor number should become visible. And then you can right click on that and it will tell you in the information box the particular step information for that run. In this case, this was the 0.1 microfarad run. Alternately, you can also right click on the waveform viewer and select the steps that you want to view in the waveform viewer using either shift or control option as well. It is important to note that LT Spice 4 also allows more than one parameter to be stepped in a simulation. Here's an example where the resistance in R1 is stepped along with the capacitance in C1. And as you can see, LT Spice 4 performed each simulation in a single run so that you can easily do a side by side comparison. For additional examples of how to step parameters in models, step independent voltage or current sources, or to find step increments using a linear, logarithmic, or list of values, please review the LT Spice 4 help topics or user guide. For more information on how to use LT Spice to improve your circuit intuition, or to download LT Spice 4 for free, please visit us today at www.linear.com 
forward slash LTSpice. Happy simulations.